Hi, this is Gary with Loyal Shops. Going live and selling is a stressful situation. Right at the beginning of your live, you need to figure out how to engage your audience, yet market to them so you can get more on the live at the same time. Many people use texting to bring in that audience because it's got that 96, 7% reach within three minutes and then people jump right on your live. We've had for the last couple of years uh, since we introduced texting, our live assistant, and, and that's a great shopping tool that helps people run lives with just a single person efficiently and recording your sales. And we continue to, to love and support that tool. But we've also got a more expanded customer base and some that are using other tools uh, besides live assistant, but still want to engage with our texting and be able to communicate with those customers to engage with them in marketing via a text. We've had shop live notifications that work with Live Assistant. And if you didn't use Live Assistant, it wouldn't automatically text. You'd have to manually text. And when you manually text, you got your head down and you're using your phone for probably 45 seconds to a minute if you're fast. Uh, and it's just, you know, not ideal because you want to be engaging with your customers. So what we've done, we have a new feature starting today that's going to replace the current Shop Live notifications. Now, if you don't get to it immediately, if you're using Shop Live notifications with Live Assistant, it'll continue to work exactly the way it was working previously. But if you uh, have not used it before because you don't use Live Assistant, or you're ready to switch to this new mode, uh, you're just going to be able to go to Shop Live notifications under texting right here and you'll see a, a new revised page. So what it does now is shop live notifications now run completely in the background. So you don't even need to be logged into Loyal Shops with anything, no live assistant required. Go live on your business page. We will see that you go live and automatically share your live link and as much of the live description that you've typed out that can fit in 160 character SMS. I'm really thinking that's gonna be cool and and take a burden off of quite a few of you from having to do that text manually. So let me walk you through how it works. So it runs in the background. You don't have to worry about it now. You just go live, we take care of the text. I think that's gonna be really cool for people. It's got three ways for you to enable disable it. So let me walk through those. Uh, the, the, the most straightforward one is just turn it on. If you go live, and that could be for selling or not selling, it's going to send a text out. And, uh, and most of the time, if you go live, you want people to be notified. So I just, that's the way it's been working previously, and we still support that mode. Obviously disabled, if you decide you don't want to use that tool or you don't want it to work that one time, you can choose disabled as well. And then it won't send out a text until you go back and change this feature again. We do have a third new one called selective enable. And what selective enable does, whenever you go live in that business page, we're going to look in your live description you just typed in to start the live for a keyword. And it can be whatever keyword you want to use, something that you'll throw in there when you want to go live and you need to remember to use it. But we stuck in there a default go live, one word, G-O-L-I-V-E. So if you choose selective and you leave it at go live, if you put into your live description when you start your live, shop Brock Awesome Boutique, I've got some brand new items, come shop with us now, go live. And then you hit go live on it, you're going live, we check it, we see go live, bam, we send out your text. So that's how that step one is. Step two is where you pick your page. Uh, if you need to log into Facebook, there'll be a connect to Facebook button, you click that. We still need rights to send out your text on your behalf and read your information from your live. So that'll be there if it needs to be. Pick out your page. Step three is where you put in your variables. The default here is uh, percent percent live description percent percent so that's the variable for whatever you've typed into your live uh, click to watch is just some wording and then live link percent percent live link now that click to watch you can get rid of that if you want and that takes up part of your 160 characters so if you want more of your live description you can get rid of that click to watch and you can move these variables around just the percent percent on both sides of the variables matter okay the second thing is is that live link is a short link from Facebook. So it goes from the default length of every Facebook live video is 64 character long URL. 
takes up a lot of 160 characters. We take it down to 11 to 12 characters with that when you choose live link. Now, Facebook always continues to come up with ways to, to trip us up. And some customers, the short links have been having some trouble. You can choose long live link. It's another variable. You can see it down here. It'll take up that 64 character space, but Facebook is treating it a little bit better uh, during their transition with all these different code changes they're making. So live link is 11 to 12 characters long, shortened URL. Long live link is 64 characters long. It's the straight URL that Facebook gives us. You can use either one. And if you get rid of live description, you can just say, I'm live, live link, or I'm live, long live link, or shop team awesome, live link. It won't use that description every time, but I think you really lose something if you don't use that live description because that's how people know exactly what you're doing when you go live. Just so you realize if you're going to use the short live link and it takes up 12 characters plus a space, so say 13 characters, you've got 146 to 147 characters to actually be your live description. So make sure that in your live description, you use your boutique or store name and what you're going to sell in the first two sentences of your live description. And then other stuff can go afterwards. So that we make sure that we grab all of that before we start truncating at that 136 character level, etc. Once you're done with that, you hit save settings. And once you've hit save settings, if you've chosen enabled or selective enable, you can log out of Loyal Shops. And when you go live on your business page, we're gonna see that. And if it's on enabled, we're just gonna send your text out with that description choice you've got here in this step three. If you choose selective enable and you use the keyword, then we will see that and we'll send out your text. Otherwise, you can go live without your keyword and we won't send a text on your behalf. Really hope you love this. Get back to us with any feedback and continue to try to improve it. I know a lot of you are going to ask. We're really going to try to do, make this work for groups as well. It's going to take us a little bit of time, but I do believe it's also very doable for us to, to bring this to groups as well. And we are working on that next. All right. Take care. Thanks.